In this example, we are going to solve a system of equations, and we have, doesn't say, well, this one's suggesting substitution. The reason substitution is suggested is because there's already a variable by itself. Perfect. So if that's the case, I might as well take advantage of that, that I can take what x equals and substitute it right in. So I will get a negative 2 times 1 plus 3y plus 6y equals 5. So the only thing that changed was our x got replaced with what x equals. And then we distribute. So negative 2 minus 6y plus 6y equals 5. Um, now we got a thing happening because the y's just went away. We didn't do anything wrong. Um, it just happened so that this actually means something. So this is a special case. So a special case means either we're about to get infinite solutions or no solution. So the way my shortcut is for this is, does negative 2 equal 5? No. So then it's no solution. Well, what does that mean? So that's our answer, but it means that the graphs to these are parallel. That's the key. So, um, so I don't know what they look like, but if you were to graph them, they would be parallel to each other. They don't cross, so there's no point in common. Um, so what does that mean as far as classifying it? So no solution means inconsistent, because a solution is consistent. So inconsistent. And why? Um, because we have no solution. And then inconsistent is always independent of each other. And the kind of justification is to be dependent means they're multiples of each other. Um, so these are not multiples of each other. Not multiples of each other. All right. So uh, we'll jump into the next one that we're trying to solve this equation. Now, this one is suggested for elimination, and I would totally use elimination just because of the way it's set up. Um, that I'm going to try and cancel out uh, one of my equations or one of my variables. So I can look to cancel the x's or cancel the y's. Let's do the x's. They're a little smaller. So I'm going to multiply this equation by a negative 2. And that gets me a negative 4x minus a 6y equals negative 12. And then I didn't do anything to the bottom because I didn't need to. Um, and then we add things together. So the x's go away as planned, but the y's actually go away and the numbers go away. You have a 0 equals 0. 0 equals 0 is the other special case. 0 does equal 0. So that is infinite solutions. However, infinite solutions is too vague because if you were to graph some sort of a line, this means that these two lines are on top of each other. That's our visual. So they are the same line. Well, so there you graph one, you graph the second, it's perfectly on top of the other one. So it means you have all these solutions. So every single point that works for one works for the other. However, if you say infinite solutions, you're talking about points everywhere. But those points aren't part of the solution. So you got to say something a little bit more specific about your infinite solutions. So as long as they work on this line, then it's okay. Well, it has to really just work for this or this. So you just got to add one little extra piece to this. So it's infinite solutions of, and then just pick one of the equations because essentially they're the same thing. So it doesn't matter. I'll just take the top one. If you wanted to take the bottom one, that'd be fine as well. But as long as they're infinite solutions of this, so as long as they work for this, they're also going to work for that, All right? And so if we categorize that sort of stuff, we have a solution. We have an infinite amount of them. So it is consistent. Reason why? We have solutions. And then it is dependent. And why are they dependent? Because one of the equations 
is a perfect multiple of the other one. So if you doubled that, you get this one. So they're perfect multiples of each other. That's why everything cancels. And so the equations are perfect multiples of each other. And that what, that's what makes them dependent. All right, so that was two problems, two different uh, special cases where you have no solution because you had the variables went away, but those numbers don't equal each other. No solution because they're parallel. And then here, everything went away, but the numbers equaled each other. So it doesn't have to be zero equals zero. It could be five equals five. Depends on the, the problem, the method that you use. But if they match, then it's infinite solutions. You always have to add that little bit of extra to it. Um, all right, and so that was special cases with systems of equations.